Howdy friends, back here in my eBay dungeon working on some stuff and I thought I'd make a little video telling you about how I have things set up here and uh, the way I keep track of inventory and everything. Uh, currently I have about 900 items listed on eBay so it's kind of hard at times to keep track of stuff. Um, excuse the mess in the room. Right now things are a bit messy because uh, we're getting some work done on the house. So I'm going to have to move everything from this room to another part of the house. So I haven't been keeping it straight because it's all going to be packed up eventually anyhow. But uh, here's what we've got going on right now. Um, currently I have this uh, little rolling table. It's kind of covered up right there. But uh, the rolling table is where I kind of sort things out where I'm fixing to photograph use it for folding have a little box here with us to do some folding on too and then i have this uh, closet over here that closet's pretty useful because i got some shelves in there a lot of inventory that's already listed then uh we go from there to i've got some shelves with some more tubs table it's absolutely covered with crap. Got all my uh, breakables over there. Sorted out like cups and mugs and so forth. And then we come over. And you see my uh, hanging rack. That's where the heavy items that um, they can't be folded and put in tubs. Or they're too big like jackets and stuff. And then uh, we'll get to this in a second what that is. But over here we've got on the top shelves we've got a lot of my toys that are listed and we've got some more tubs and everything. Um, if you see all the tubs have a uh, letter on them. And that letter on um, eBay when you list an item there's a place that's called Custom Skew. And on custom SKU, that gives you the ability to put information that the customer does not see. So that's utilized for me. First, I'll put if it's cross-listed on, e on Etsy. I do have an Etsy store where I sell items that, um, that the vintage items and so forth. So I'll put on that custom SKU if it's cross-listed on Etsy. So I'll know if it sells, I can take it off of Etsy. Then I'll put the letter of the tub or what shelf it is on that custom SKU. I'll also put the date that I listed the item and how much I paid for it. So if anybody ever gives me an offer, I don't know how much I have invested in it, so I won't lose money. It's a really, really key thing to use that custom SKU when you're listing to help you out. So, uh, yeah, I, I use that a lot. And um, that way you can just go straight to your bin, pull your item, boom, you're there. So let's talk about this right here. Right there, you'll see that you have uh, two of these diffused uh, lights. They're on stands there. Nice stands and nice lights. I use those to take pictures. Um, this is my little picture setup. I have a white backdrop and a white uh, tablecloth. eBay really suggests to use white as a background so there's nothing confusing in the picture and everything. So I use that and it's, it's real nice. Little cheap and expensive uh, setup that I have there. Um, and my pictures come out pretty decent. It's not the best in the world. I probably need to have a little bit more light coming from above that will uh, diffuse it a little bit better. Let's talk about my workhorse that I use here on eBay. I use a Canon EOS Rebel T3i. A lot of people use their cell phones for uh, photography on eBay and they'll list from eBay. 
But I, I really, I like using just old DSLR. Um, I'm kind of old school that way. And it's, it's really nice. And um, takes real good photographs and everything. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is my setup. Um, I uh, I don't I don't do but about fifteen hundred dollars in sales every month right now. I'm trying to amp it up a little bit more so uh, you know I make a regular living out of it. But it's a good hobby. I enjoy it, and uh, in the near future we'll be. Uh, showing you more sales hopefully it'll grow and you can watch the growth of my business but that's it for right now i guess um i'm gonna go get me a drink i'm kind of winded uh, from my breathing problems and uh we'll get back to you later it's a uh, saturday right now we'll get back to you later this weekend show you what i've sold for the weekend and talk to you then well, it's Sunday afternoon now. I thought I'd start pulling a few of the things that I sold this weekend. So far, I've only sold about five items, so it's been kind of slow this weekend, but that's all right. We'll take it how we want to go. But uh, let me show you real quick what we uh, sold so far. First thing we sold this weekend is this uh, Wrangler's uh, Pearl Snap Western shirt. It sold for $14.99 um plus shipping and i got that from a uh, local thrift store paid three dollars for it anytime that you see any uh pearl snap western style shirts definitely buy them because they always sell they're a good uh good seller next up we have this uh die cast Ertl 1912 buick I got that from a uh, local auction, uh, bought a big lot of die-cast cars. I paid uh, $3 each for those uh, average, so um, for $14.99, that's a good profit. Um, pl that's plus shipping. And uh, yeah, I always, uh, die-casts have been doing real good for me here lately. Next up, we have this pair of uh, swim trunks. Um, those sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Uh, funny thing is, they are uh, Corona swim trunks. Not the coronavirus, but the Corona beer. Uh, I got those at a local uh, thrift shore store. And I paid uh, paid up for those. They were $4. So I made a decent profit on it, but not, not as much as I'd like. Next up, we have this uh, Batman Joker Mobile diecast car. I bought that actually from eBay. Yes, you can buy inventory from eBay and still make money. I bought a big lot of Batman diecast cars. I paid uh, a total of about $7 each for them when I bought them. And this particular car from the uh, comic series sold for $19. So, you know, you can double your money off of it. Uh, of course, you have your fees and everything in there, but it was a good profit off of that neat little die-cast car. And the final thing I'm showing today that I've sold this weekend is this awesome Johnson Motor Company from Sherman, Texas advertising thermometer. Uh, they were a Buick and Opal dealership. Always, always keep an eye out for antiques. Learn about antiques, especially signs and uh, thermometers. They're doing real well right now. I paid $21 for this out of an auction company out of Texas I buy from sometimes. And it sold for $70. Yep, $70 bucks from $20 purchase. That was a good sale right there. Uh, kind of sad to see this one go, though, because I, I liked it. Well, friends, that's about it for uh, this episode. Um, it was nice to show you what all, uh, how I got things set up and the few things I sold for this weekend. Uh, as, you know, like I said before, this is a learning curve for me, so... 
any uh, tips or any advice you want to give me in the comments about uh, working on my videos a little bit better. Uh, I know I need to work on my lighting some and everything, but uh, I'm really enjoying this, sharing my life with uh, everyone. But until uh, until then, make sure you like and, and subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and um, I love you, friends. Talk to you next time. Bye.